Afternoon everybody, Bushcat Darrell here. Got the airplane pushed out. Wind's blowing three miles an hour out of the northwest. We're just gonna go for a ride. I think I'm gonna take a ride up to the Stone Barn Castle tonight. We haven't been up there in a while. We'll take you up there and show it to you. Ride along. Alrighty, here we go. That's the Stone Barn Castle right out there in front of the struts there. Uh, the main part of the building was used as a stock barn having accommodations for 50 cows and arranged in two rows of 25 with the, the tails facing each other and the mangers out in front of them. Uh, it was unique because the, uh, the creamery that was on the west end of the building with living apartments and what have you and a root cellar and in the creamery there was the only certified uh, dairy in the area that uh, was producing, uh, producing milk that was certified not to make you sick from drinking it. They actually were pasteurizing the stuff there. But, uh, but uh, the guy that built the place originally was, uh, was uh, Charles William Knight. And uh, obviously through the years, uh, people passed on, and they, uh, they moved on to other stuff. And, uh, but it's kind of, a, kind of a unique building up there. It looks like an old medieval castle. I kind of left this footage in right here because as we're turning with the lake to my left, and uh, you can see the castle just coming into view in the lower right-hand corner of the screen there. Uh, you'll look off to the north at the Tug Hill Plateau, and it's literally amazing the, the wooded area that exists there. So a little fast forward back to North Bay and across the Sylvan Beach and heading over home. And, uh, but, uh, you can actually Google the Stone Barn Castle and Adrian Brody owns it now. And he was an actor and, uh, kind of a unique uh, little part of history in the area there. But, uh, if you get a chance, take a ride up there. Alrighty, here we are just greasing around. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride up to the Stone Barn Castle tonight.